Hi, I'm Susan Eggers, and I teach history and geography with Excelsior classes. And the topic of today's video in my series on historical research and writing is developing a strong thesis statement. In our last video, we talked about choosing a topic for your history research paper. So now that you have your topic, today we're going to discuss how to turn that topic into a strong historical question and a great thesis. Remember, um, in our last video, I cautioned you that history research papers are not narrative. You simply cannot describe the past as a narrative story. Now, telling the story, the background of your topic will be part of what you do, but you have to go further than that. So last time we talked about how a strong historical question is analytical, open-ended, and argumentative. So thinking about these three points, let's see how we can get from a topic to a thesis. Let's say that your topic is the end of the Romanov dynasty in Russia. One of your first questions might be, who was the last Russian Tsar of the Romanov dynasty? And that's a great start. But as you keep reading, you keep thinking about other questions that come to mind, and you will probably see this kind of progression happening. You'll end up with a question that meets those criteria, something that is um, argumentative, something that is open-ended, and something that is analytical. Now, as you're doing your reading, something very interesting should start to happen. You will start to see that historians have differing opinions about the role that Nicholas II played in the coming of the Russian Revolution. Nicholas II's contemporaries, so the primary source material, his contemporaries may also have different opinions about how to answer this question. That's why it's argumentative. This question can legitimately be answered in multiple ways based on the historical evidence. So here are a few examples of ways that you could answer that question. And all three of these could be great thesis statements. It just depends on what kind of historical evidence you have found and how you interpret that as the historian. Now, not all thesis statements are created equal. All right, you need to have historical evidence, but then you also need to have your interpretation, your opinion about what you have discovered doing your research. So, while this first statement is based on historical evidence, the stronger statement allows you to express your opinion. Here are some more examples. The first two points um, draw upon historical evidence but do not allow you to express your opinion. So these statements here on the right are stronger statements. Now, the last one is a little bit different. It does allow you to express your opinion about the awesomeness of Leonardo da Vinci, but it does not draw upon historical evidence. How do you prove awesomeness um, historically? So you need to be able to uh, include both ingredients um, in your recipe for a thesis statement. You need historical evidence, and then you need to express your interpretation of that evidence. All right, let's do one more example. Let's say that your topic is World War II, all right? Our next step is to think about what what do we want to find out about World War II? What do we want to ask? What are we interested in? So let's say um, that we are interested in the causes of World War II. So our question might be something like, of all the causes of World War II, which one was the most significant? Now, obviously, there are many causes that led to the outbreak of World War II. 
One pitfall that students often fall into is that they want to devote their paper to describing all of these factors, but that's not making an argument. A strong uh, history research paper will choose one and focus on that and make that your argument and then support that with historical evidence. Okay, so let's say that we've done lots of reading about World War II and we've come up with four possible historical interpretations about the causes of World War II. So our task as historians is to analyze this evidence, think about it, and figure out which one of these do we feel like we can argue as uh, the most significant and which one can we support strongly with the historical evidence. Okay, so let's say at this point we come up with this thesis. The main factor, we know that there are many, but the main factor that led to World War II was the harshness of the Treaty of Versailles. And that's our thesis statement, one that is based on historical evidence and allows us to express our opinion and our own historical interpretation. So now you should be prepared uh, to develop uh, your strong thesis statement. Uh, my next video will discuss organization and citations as you begin the process of writing your history research paper. If you'd like to find out more about my classes, um, history or geography, um, please visit excelsiorclasses.com and thanks for watching.